phone matter service call slash maintenance. Um, basically, they're just saying that there is no air getting downstairs. They've just bought this house. The air conditioner works. It gets nice and warm upstairs, but downstairs not so much. So basically, I've just got here and put my gauges on, see how it's going. Obviously, it's an airflow issue, but the reason why I do this is one, it gives me like a good idea of if there's gas and whatnot. Um, but also, like, if I just put downstairs on and, you know, there's a blockage or the zones aren't opening or whatever, I'll be able to tell. So, basically, I've just got here, put my suction line on, the true suction pipe. It doesn't have a discharge pipe port, so you have to go on the suction line that I'm going to put on heating, so that'll obviously be heating. So I'm going to get a high side and a low side. Get the super heat. That's the suction pipe. Suction pipe clamp. Going to get the temperature, get the pressures. This will give me a good indication of what's going on. And if there is a blockage, like in airflow, um, the high side will go up because I'm going to have it on heating. So let's go turn it on, go from there. Is absolutely putrid, blocked up. So I'll give them a clean and I'll 
I just sent the customer a PDF that shows them how to clean these so they can do that regularly. That'll definitely affect airflow and this job is literally an airflow issue so I'm not saying that's the only thing but they definitely will affect your airflow obviously. Alright, that's way better. That's why I'm a fan of electrostatic filter media because if that was just your normal filter media when it gets that dirty and you try and clean it it just gets manky as um, and it's hard to get back but electrostatic it just falls off and it's just like new It's this sort of stuff that I really don't like doing. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so someone has literally cut the return hairs. Absolutely hackery. That's an issue. Let's get in here. So this roof and ductwork is an absolute mess. I don't like this sort of stuff at all. Look at that. It's hot. Anyway, those two zone motors are both off. And I don't think they should be. So um Basically, over there, the one on the left is zone 2, the one on the right is zone 1. I went down to the zone controller and um, I had zone 1 on, but it wasn't open. So just to make sure that it's not like a faulty zone board, I went down and turned zone 2 on. And when I did that, that one on the left officially opens. So that means the controller downstairs, I'm pretty sure is working. Um, that zone, can, zone station up here is working. So what I'm gonna do is go and get just one of these out of the car, unplug zone two, which is open, and put it into another one and see if it opens. It might be just that, but it's not working. Um, I'm not sure yet. So I'll go get one of them come up, unplug that cable, and plug it in, and see what happens. Alright, so I'm just up here, and I've just been fiddling around with that. So, basically, the old zone motor that I pulled out is all broken. So, that's what it looks like. Um, it should look more like that. So that's got the black around it black plastic around it whereas on that one it broke off and all the black plastic was stuck in there so basically um, I've just changed that cable over when you first plug it in it opens but I've been opening and closing it down at the controller and it's not opening and closing so I actually think it's the zone station that's not working um, just zone one though because I've changed cables around so zone one on that zone station back over there isn't working and I noticed that they used to have this style and the exact same thing happened. So I believe that this, I just took it off and I'm, I've just cut that and I've put my hand in and it's stuck. Like this isn't opening so what it's doing is it's it's ruining the zone motor, but because it's constantly trying to drive, it actually burnt out zone one 
on that zone station so to fix it you literally need to get a new black box uh, new zone motor obviously and a new zone station it's just cooked because this is broken it's taken out the zone station which I'll show you what that is in a second so this this is like a 20 year old R22 uh, unit the ductwork is a joke um, yeah it's just one of those ones where like there's not much I can really do um, but pass on the message to the owner I honestly feel like they're just gonna have to spend a bit of money on this I'd personally just replace the whole system but that is definitely easier said than done this is just one of those jobs I'm not really interested in to be honest and I don't, I don't want to be crawling around in that crap so um anyway I'll go relay the bad news to the customer and we'll go from there yeah. okay so that has been running for ages basically it's a suction temps pretty high the high pressure sorry the, the suction pressure is getting up there the high pressure side is getting up there um you know they're not the greatest pressures to be honest i think they're a bit too high but um i guarantee you if all those zones were open um that head pressure and sucking pressure would come down but they've just got like a lot of airflow issues that need to be sorted so I'm very confident once they're sorted that'll come down um, so that evaporated temperature is a 4 and that's a 14 such a tight temperature so that's a 10k so it's you know it's gassed up um, uh, basically it's an old thing it still works but they've got some serious airflow issues and I just don't know if it's worth fixing on such an old system